Hey guys, what's up? Uh, back with another video. Today we have another WWE pay-per-view classic uh, review for you guys today. Uh, today we have the WWF Royal Rumble from the year of 2000. Of course, this took place in January 2000, the first pay-per-view of the new millennium. Millennium, that's easy for me to say. Uh, this was a suggestion from my good friend Beatdown Buddy, uh, who may have been kidding when he said that, when he suggested this la uh, late last night. But I thought I'd take him up on the offer and uh, watch this big bad boy right here. And uh, it was a fun time. Just, that's a little bit of a spoiler right there. It was a fun time. Let's get on with this, shall we? We, we kicked off the Royal Rumble 2000 with not only not, a, not only with Kurt Angle, none other than Kurt Angle versus the debuting Taz to the WWF. Uh, so yeah, Kurt Angle, uh, in, uh, before the match got underway, Kurt Angle cut a promo. The typical geeky Kurt Angle stuff, you know, the intensity and the, the intelligence and the integrity. Talking about uh, how he's an Olympic gold medalist, blah, 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 the usual stuff from Kurt Angle. Uh, it kind of made you, kind of like a good heel promo to set up uh, that you're wanting, so, you, so that you would want Taz to come out and kick his ass. And that was exactly what happened. Taz debuted. He looked like a badass. Uh, he came in and just whooped Kurt Angle's ass and choked him out in about a couple of minutes. Uh, Kurt Angle got more offense than I was actually expecting him to get in this match, but it was exactly what it was. Uh, Taz got the chokeout victory uh, with the Taz mission, choking out Kurt Angle. And uh, as Jerry Lawler would put on commentary, um, he would say on commentary that it, oh, he choked him out. That's not that's not illegal. Kurt Angle's still undefeated. So yeah, Taz was, uh, Kurt Angle and Jerry Lawler would later claim that uh, Kurt Angle was still undefeated because Taz uh, used a illegal submission hold. But it was technically still a victory for Taz. Big thumbs up, and of course this will be the uh, this is as good as it gets for Taz in WWF because uh, it all goes downhill from here for Taz. I feel sorry for the poor dude, but he's doing all right now. He's on commentary. So, uh, anyway, that's the, the next match we had. Uh, what was the next match? Let me re read my own handwriting here. And I quote, we had the Dudleys versus the Hardy Boys. How can I forget that match? Uh, it was a tag team tables match, the first ever tag team tables match, according to JR on commentary. Uh, I don't know if that's true. It may be. Don't quote me on that. Uh, they just said it was, they said it on commentary, so I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna take their word for it. That might be a bad idea. <laughs> anyway, we had the Dudleys versus the Hardys in a tag team table match. This was phenomenal stuff, man. Um, you know, the Dudleys brought it, the Hardys brought it, uh, and, uh, you know, it's the uh, elimination match, and it's, you know, it's one of those, it, you, it, you've probably seen a lot of clips before, even if you haven't seen the match in its entirety. Uh, I've only seen the match in its entirety. Uh, the uh, maybe a couple of times, so this was a. I haven't seen it for a few years, but so this was a, a good refresher for me, and uh, it was a bit very solid stuff. The Hardys, of course, to pick up the win, but this was only just the icing on top of the cake when it came to uh, when it came to no, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it came to uh, what the Hardys and the Dudleys would get up to in their feud in their series, also including Edge and Christian uh, later in the year. So yeah, uh, Hardy Boys would win this match. I'm very afraid to uh, to even look at what's next because I have I know exactly what's next because it traumatized me. Thanks, beatdown money. Uh, <laughs> uh, so next we had the let let me uh, read this for Baton. We had the Miss Royal Rumble swimsuit competition. Ooh, sounds fancy. Uh, first things first. I was glad that I had a, uh, uh, I was making sure, well, be before this uh, happened, that I made sure that to lock my door so that nobody could enter. I was making sure that I was watching this by, watching this by myself. It's kind of depressing when you think about it. <laughs> but yeah, I made sure I was watching this by myself because I didn't want anyone walking in on me watching this moment, especially what happens at the end uh, of this segment, this competition. So your participants for this were uh we had Ivory, Jacqueline, uh Terry Runnels, uh BB, who was the doctor, uh Luna, who didn't undress, 
the cat, meow, and uh, a late participant who I'll get to in a minute. Uh, so yeah, it was, um, I'm not going to really go too in-depth in this. I mean, oh God, it's a de- de- terrible choice of words. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll just say this. Women's wrestling's come a long way uh, since then, and this was indeed a segment. Um, it was a little bit of a break from the wrestling. And uh, this, this next part it probably traumatized a lot of folks when they were younger, and it all, and uh, probably not going to sleep. I'm probably not going to sleep now. So thank you, beat down buddy. Um, but it was hilarious to watch as we had a late entrant to the uh, Miss Wimsuit competition. As the one and only May Young would uh, be a late uh, entered in this well, thingy, there was cheeks involved, there was puppies, there was screaming, there was me screaming involved, there was torture, there was <laughs> so, uh, uh, there was a lot of things involved in this uh, this uh, this segment. Um, yeah, uh, we saw May Young's puppies. It was a segment. It was hilarious, and I and I cursed Beatdown Bunny quite a few times during this segment. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it was fun, it was hilarious. I had a fun time with it. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it. that's gonna be the next move on to the next match before I uh, before I start uh, re, 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 re start uh, regretting this decision. Next match we had Hardcore Holly t- taken on. Uh, so that's, let me try that again. We had Chris Jericho taking on China, taking on Hardcore Holly in a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. This was an okay matchup. Uh, this was around the time that they were doing the co-Intercontinental Champions, where Jericho and China were both the Intercontinental Champion. Um, so this was a ma- basically a match to determine, uh, basically to determine who was going to be the real Intercontinental Champion, the Unspeed Champion. Of course, Hardcore Holly was there also. Um, kind of surprising that he didn't take the pin on this one. Uh, China did. Chris Jericho would become the Intercontinental Champion. It was an okay match. Not really, you know, not really too much to, too much else to say about that one. Uh, anyway, next match we had the New Age Outlaws taking on the Acolytes of A. Bradshaw and Farouk uh, for the tag team titles. Again, not much to say about this match. It was quick. It was a very quick match. It went about two minutes of that. And uh, X Pac interfered and uh, cost the acolytes the tag team titles and the New Age Outlaws won. Not much to say about it. It was okay, I guess. It was a two minute match. It was done and done, done and dusted. And uh, yeah, we're moving on to the next match. And that match was the next match was a banger, a banger, banger, banger. It it thirsted my appetite for destruction and uh, appetites, whatever. We had Triple H defending the WWF Championship against Mrs. Foley's baby boy, Cactus Jack, in a street fight. This was phenomenal. Haven't seen it for a while. Good to see it. Was, uh, I don't know why I hadn't, I hadn't seen it for a while, because this match was fucking awesome. It lived up, you know, it lived up to uh, the hype, and it lived up to uh, what I remembered of it. I remember it being good, and it, you know, it lived up to that hype. Uh, yeah, this was good. Good stuff. Uh, uh, credit to Triple H uh, to, for for gutting it out and uh, you know drawing a lot of blood and uh, he he kind of got bloodied. Uh, he got stabbed in the knee, in the knee, in the uh, in the in the uh, calf area when he got suplexed onto a crate, a wooden crate. One of the wooden crates like stabbed him in the in the calf. Looked painful. Looked uh, looked uh, looked dangerous. But he continued like a trooper and uh, yeah. I've never said that before, Trooper, in my life. Never in my life have I said Trooper. Still trying to get over a lot of things, man. It's, uh, it's a traumatizing experience. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this match was fantastic. Nothing bad to say about this match. It was fantastic. Probably got to be up there as, like, matches of the year, that year. So, awesome stuff. And, of course, we had the main event. We had the Royal Rumble match itself. Of course, Triple H would win, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, Triple H would pedigree... Cactus Jack into the tax, awesome finish, um, and then Cactus got his revenge afterwards by hitting Triple H with a baseball, with a 2x4 wrapped in barbed wire, which is always a nice day, bang bang, always a great time. So yeah, good good stuff right there, as we move on to the main event, which is the 30-man Royal Rumble itself, and uh, this was a, a decent, pretty decent Royal Rumble. 
We kicked off the Royal Rumble with D'Lo Brown and Grandmaster Sexay. Uh, uh, I liked uh, I liked the fact that we had a dance off in the Royal Rumble with Rikishi and Too Cool. They had that little dance break. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, uh, the uh, no, what's the fucking name? Kai and Tai, Funaki and uh, Takamichinuku uh, weren't officially in the Royal Rumble, but he kept getting involved. And uh, poor Takamichinuku got his face uh, when he got thrown over the top rope. His face smacked the floor very hard. He had to go to the hospital. And uh, Jerry Lawler on commentary kept replaying it over and over again. It got repetitive after a while. And also Jerry Lawler making jokes, with not cu- not telling the difference between Chinese and Japanese. That was a bit uncalled for. I know, I know that it was a sign of the times, but still, it was it was a bit ridiculous. But anyway, it didn't take too much away from the match. It was still a pretty decent matchup, uh, all Jerry Lawler aside. Also, for someone who was for someone who was traumatized by Mae Young, uh, Jerry Lawless seemed to bring up her breasts kind of a lot in this uh, uh, after uh, after the swimsuit competition. Um, so yeah, that's, I'll just I'll just point that out there. Uh, yeah, and I'll let other people deal with that one. What else was there? There was uh, Rikishi had a good performance in the Royal Rumble. He asked did pretty good. Uh, eliminated some folks, and then he got eliminated by six men. Uh, Bob Backlund was crazy enough in this match. Uh, he made a, a surprise uh, entrance in this match. Bob Backlund. Um, he had a good. He had an all right showing, I guess. <laughs> and then, uh, it, but there was really only two uh, two uh, real winners, and that, that, that is these two right here: The Rock and The Big Show. Uh, it came down, of course, to those two. And uh, The Rock would win the Royal Rumble, but very controversially, because his feet would hit the floor before the big shows. But with the camera angle uh, that they showed, uh, the Rock, it didn't look like The Rock's feet hit the floor. But you know, you can clearly, you know, where obviously later on we clearly see that The Rock's feet did hit the floor. So Big Show got robbed of the Royal Rumble. Oh, oh God, dang it, Big Show! Your career could have been something if you would have won this Royal Rumble. But anyway. Uh, the Rock would win the Rumble. Pretty decent Rumble. Shame about the finish that the finish didn't go to exactly the way that they wanted to, but it was uh, still a pretty decent Rumble. Uh, so yeah, pretty good stuff. Uh, I, I again, I'll curse Beatdown Buddy for making me watch that swimsuit competition. But uh, <laughs> I'm only, I'm, I'm only, uh, I'm only, uh, I'm only kidding, dude. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty decent show. I'm pretty happy to to have watched the Royal Rumble itself, the entire show. Um, I'm pretty happy that we censored, that there was a censor button for Mae Young's, um, uh, puppies. Anyhow, enough trauma, let's, let's, uh, let's move on to the final score. I'm going to uh, give this show a 9 out of 10, very solid show, very enjoyable show, very, I very definitely recommend watching this show if you haven't, if you haven't seen it for a while. Uh, yeah, pretty fun show. Uh, that's going to be it now, guys. Uh, Tell me what you think in the comments. Leave me a like if I deserve it. Yeah, I, I bet, um, beat down, buddy. Uh, you probably better leave me a fucking like if they're, if they're watching after. <laughs> oh, man, again, I'm only kidding. It's all, all in fun, dude. All in fun. Uh, this was a, a fun time. Uh, anyway, I gave, I gave it a 9 out of 10. A very high 9 out of 10. Very enjoyable pay-per-view. Um, as I said before, leave me a like if I deserve it. Comment below. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. See you guys soon. I'm going off to get some therapy. (laughs) Bye-bye.